now and forever and ever. Amen. Only begotten the Son and the Word of God, you are immortal, and you will for our salvation to be made flesh of the Holy Mother of God, the never virgin Mary, and without shame she became man. You were crucified for Christ our God, and trampled death by death. You are among the Holy Trinity, glorified by the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Amen and again in peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy.
the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. When the day of the Pentecost came, it found the apostles gathered in one place. Suddenly, from up in the sky, there came a noise like a strong driving wind, which was heard all through the house where they were seated. Tongues as of fire appeared, which parted and came to rest on each of them. All were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to express themselves in foreign tongues and make bold proclamation as the Spirit prompted them. <clears throat> Staying in Jerusalem at the time were devout Jews of every nation under heaven. These heard the sound and assembled in a large crowd. They were much confused because each one heard these men speaking his own language. The whole occurrence astonished them. They were asked in utter amazement, are not all of these men who are speaking Galatians, Galileans? How is it that each of us hears them in his native tongue? We are far, far Parathisans, Medes, and Elamites. We live in Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, the province of Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the regions of Libya around uh, Syria. There are even visitors from Rome, all Jews, or those who have come over to Judaism, Cretans, and Arabs too, yet each of us hears them speaking in his own tongue about the marvels God has accomplished. Четвъртия Исия, четвъртия апостоли, години обажни, телезяне, колена стал ден, тяте дешатници, ши апостоли до него за душно купи. Аж ош, не начка за луна, из неба шу, не наче подъл, буйно го пицу, изпълнял овешни им делове си дели. Изявели, че им го дели, и му огонь, язике, и шили на кожни узнеха.
praying. And the great, the greatest name of the peace, of the world. Jesus stood up and cried out. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me. Let him drink who believes in me. Scripture has it. From within him rivers of living water shall flow. Here he was referring to the Spirit whom those that came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no spirit as yet since Jesus had not yet been glorified. Some of the crowd who heard these words began to say, This must be the prophet. Others were claiming he is the Messiah. But the objection was raised, Surely the Messiah is not to come from Galilee. Those does not scripture said that the Messiah being of David's family is not from Bethlehem, the village of where David lived. In this fashion, the crowd was sharply divided over Jesus. Some of, some of them even wanted to apprehend him. However, no one laid hands on him. When the temple guards came back, the chief priests and the Pharisees asked them, Why did you not bring him in? The guards replied, No man ever spoke like that before. The Pharisees reported, Did not tell, Do not tell us that you too have been taken in. You do not see any of the Sanhedrin believing in him, do you? Or the Pharisees, only this one that knows nothing about the law, and they are lost anyway. One of their own members, Nicodemus, the man who had come to Jesus by night, spoke up and said, Since when does our law condemn any man without first hearing him? And knowing the fact, they taunted him, do not tell us, you are the Galilean too. Look it up. You will not find a prophet coming from Galilee. Jesus spoke to the people once again. I am the light of the world. No follower of mine shall ever work. walk in darkness. No he shall possess the light of love. Blah, 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 blah. Jesus himself. 
Paul was compelled by the convictions of the Holy Spirit to go to Jerusalem. Mary, she was compelled to say yes to the angel and she became mother of God. Peter was compelled to visit Cornelius and to baptize the first Gentile into the church. Even Jesus was compelled by the Spirit to go into the desert to fast and to pray. The Holy Spirit wants to play an active role in our lives, just as he did in the lives of those early believers. He wants to counsel us and to give us just the right words to say to someone who is hurting. He wants to help us to see our sin and then lead us into the freedom of his mercy. He wants to convince us of God's passion and love for us so that we can walk through our days with our heads up, really held high. Even despite what's really happening with the closure and this chaos in this world, the Feast of Pentecost is not simply a celebration of an event which took place centuries ago. It is the celebration of what must happen and has happened to us in the church today. We all have died and risen with Messiah the King, and we all have received his most Holy Spirit. We're all the temple of the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit who dwells in us. We, by our membership in the church, have received the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of chrismation. So Pentecost happens, happened to us. So how can we hear this? How can we hear the, this, uh, the Holy Spirit talking to us? The obvious answers includes prayer, fasting, and reading the scripture. But we should also be looking out for those times when a new, something unexpected sense arises in our hearts. Spontaneous thoughts of love and mercy, or maybe a new insight into the scripture passage, or a possible new direction in our own lives. Follow these senses. Text them out and see if they bring you joy, if they bring you hope or peace. If so, you can be sure that the Holy Spirit is behind them. The more we practice, the clearer His voice will become. Come. Holy Spirit, I surrender. Take my hand and lead me. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul, O oh mind, let us say Forever, the Lord of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Forever, as we are God of God in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You also pray for most all universal talk to Francis, follow wrong his piano maker to the plow. Most reverend and devout our Lord and God, loving Bishop Line, for those who serve and serve this Holy Church spiritual father, O Father, in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Also pray for those who also pray for our nation and our other government, those who protect us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We also pray for all our parishioners, but especially those. And the church to all of them for their well being. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord Father, 
He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He is spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and one for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let the attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. The mercy of peace, the sacrifice of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you.
of your immortality and blessed from it the whole world then is full of joy in you and continually glorifies you for you are most glorious together with your your co-eternal Father the your co-eternal O Holy to the lagging spirit now and forever and ever Again and again on bended knees, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, Christ our God, you bestowed your peace upon us, and you granted us the gift of the most Holy Spirit. And while still we have been present with us in this life, you continue to bestow upon the faithful this inheritance that can never be taken away. On this day, in the living matter, you set them down to grace upon your disciples and the apostles, conferring their lips with the fiery tongues, so that through them we and the whole human race have received the knowledge of God. Through our own ears and our own language, we have been enlightened by the light of the Spirit and have been delivered from terror as through our darkness by the distribution of visible and fiery times. Through this ministry action, we have verified this top faith in you. And having been illuminated, we bless you together with the power and the Holy Spirit as one of divinity and power and authority. You are also the splendor of the Father, the changeable and beautiful image of his essence and his nature. And the source of wisdom and grace. Open my sinful lips and teach me the manner in which then for what means I should pray. For you know the great multitude of my sins, be there and be, but their magnitude can be accomplished by your holy loving kindness. For behold, I kneel before you with fear. And I cast the despair of my soul into the depths of your mercy. Guide me my life along your ways. For you govern all creation by your word with the unchangeable power of your wisdom. Show me the way in which I should walk, or tranquil heaven of those who are for forcefully perplexed. Drown the spirit of your wisdom to my deliberation, giving the spirit of understanding to my ignorance. With the spirit of your fear, overshadow my deeds, and renew the steadfast spirit deeply within me, and with your sovereign spirit, stabilize the indecisiveness of my thought, in order that the beginning being guided every day by your gracious spirit toward those things that are profitable for me, I may be deemed worthy to fulfill your commandments. Let me be constantly aware of you and your coming in glory when you will judge our deeds. Protect me from the corrupting pleasures of this world. Strengthen me with the desires to strive for the treasures of the world to come. For you have said, O oh Master, that who, whatever anyone asks for you for in your name, it will be received without hindrance from your Father. Be the co-eternal God. Therefore, on this feast of the descent of your Holy Spirit, I, sinner, also treat your goodness so that you would grant me whatever I have asked for that is for salvation. Indeed, O Lord, you are the generous, generous giver of all benefits, and you are a gracious provider who gives most abundantly those things which we seek. You are the compassionate one and the merciful one who sinlessly became a partaker of our flesh. And unto those who bent their knees to you, who became the purifier of our sin, you extend your infinite loving kindness. O Lord, grant your generosity to your people. Hear us from your holy heaven. Sanctify us by the power of your sacred grace. Cover us beneath the shelter of your wings, and do not despise the works of your hands. We have confessed against you alone. 
against you and what we have said. But only you do we worship. We do not know how to worship a strange God. Neither do we stretch our hands from the master to a heavenly iron God. Pardon our transgressions and accept our prayers that we offer on bended knees. Accept the hand of your help to all of us. Accept the prayer of all of us if we were pleasant in as if we as if it was a pleasant answer. Accept the will before your most gracious kingdom. Lord the Lord, who delivers us from every arrow that flies by day, deliver us from all things that walk in darkness. Accept the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Deem us also worthy to pass it blamelessly to the course of the night, untempted by evil things. And deliver us from every disturbance and apprehension that comes to us from the devil. Grant compassion to our souls and grant that we may meditate upon the trial and that your, your fearsome and righteous judgment. Nail the fear of to your, your own flesh and mortify all of our earthly body members so that during the quietness of sleep we may be enlightened with the vision of your judgment. Remove from us also every unseemly, uh, unseemly dream and harmful passion of the flesh that rise us up again at the time for prayer, fortified in the faith and advancing in your commandment. Through the, the generosity and the goodness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with all holy, gracious, and life giving spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for mankind always, now and forever. Wonder to the world 